Hey guys, so we're going to show off some Team Slayer action on Ridgeline, aka Timberland, if you were a fan of the original Halo PC. Uh, we're going to showcase uh, some of the crazy action taking place on this one. If you're not familiar with Timberland, as I just said, it was uh, an exclusive map uh, designed for a Halo PC. I'm going to break out in third person so we can kind of fly around the map and showcase some of the new additions uh, to this version versus its classic iteration. Uh, first thing, I'm going to just pan around and show off the rest of the map. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty big map. You have a lot of tree cover. It's very, you know, it's pretty consistent aesthetically from uh, Halo Ring locations we've seen before. Uh, it's important to point out that the map has actually been shrunk down a little bit from the original version of Timberland. It's about 20% smaller, uh, which makes sense within the uh, sandbox version uh, of this particular map in Halo Reach. As you see, it doesn't matter how big or small the map is, if you've got a vehicle, you're going to be able to sneak around and move around and hopefully deal out some crazy damage to enemies. As you saw at the beginning of the map, uh, you have a red base on one side, a blue base on the other. It's through those trees somewhere, I assure you. Uh, so, but it's an asymmetrical map located in this evergreen location. You have a nice waterfall with the water moving down the middle. So there's lots of hills, lots of opportunity to recover. So good, good cross-map uh, combat opportunities. As you see, blue team just gets sniped from across. But if you find yourself out in the open at any point, you're only a quick sprint away from hopping behind, uh, hopping behind some cover, whether it's a tree or rock or hill. So you can see vehicles don't last too long if you're driving around too much especially if someone's grabbed one of the power weapons. Uh, rocket launcher does spawn on this map, and a Spartan laser as well, which I believe one of those gentlemen may have just picked up. I don't know what that is, actually. <laughs> uh, but you do have to be careful. If you see that uh, telltale red light from a distance, someone's got a laser beat on you. Um, so one of the things I want to do, want to show off, is uh, hopping over here to blue base real quick, so you can see how the uh, levels are a little bit different. Each one of the bases have a slightly different layout to them, and you can see the really dense, lush uh, overgrowth of vines, grass. It's a, it's a pretty different map in that you have a lot of crazy carnage, Lost death, and destruction, but at the same time, beautiful purple flowers. So this is one of my favorite spaces, and then I'm a big fan of big team battle, and especially vehicular combat. And as I pointed out earlier, there's always a lot of vehicles to, to go around. I'm going to fly down to the edge of the map over here and show off actually one of my favorite skyboxes in any Halo map ever. As you see, this uh, forerunner city in the distance just looks awesome. I often just fall off the edge just looking at it. Uh, but one of the ghosts, there's a couple of ghosts spread out on top of uh, on each uh, side of the map, but also ghosts on the edge. So even if you get caught in the open, as I said earlier, vehicles are usually pretty close at hand if you need a little help from a friend. So we've got warhogs on each side, each base. You've got a warhog in the middle. Uh, so as I said, this is a pretty big space, but with a lot of opportunities for kind of shortcutting your way across. And there's always a lot of action. You can sneak up here, hopefully pick off some guys from a distance. So got a lot of on-foot action here. I've got some jetpack. Might want to grab the warhog next time. You might be more successful. But uh, you have some multi-layer areas over here. I'm going to fly over to this waterfall and kind of show off this space. So you got to be careful if you get a Warhawk stuck in here and someone catches you with a grenade just right, you're going to be in trouble. But you can also use those locations to kind of hide from danger and kind of get out of the way. As you see blue base, we're back over here. You have a Warhawk, a Mongoose. Red team sneaking over to blue base, kind of checking out the lay of the land. So you can see the kind of fog atmospheric effects as well. And each base has its own turret as well. So you can sit out here and just pick people off if you want to, if you're on defense, or you can rip it off and go hunting with some big guns. Oof, but don't stay too still too often because you're gonna get it picked off. So that's basically a quick look at uh, Ridgeline, AKA Timberland in Halo Anniversary. And uh, as we come, blah, that was a quick look at Timberland, AKA Ridgeline from Halo Anniversary. As we get closer to launch, we'll be showing off some more aspects of the map. But until then, make sure you tune into IGN for all your Halo coverage.